Here are three things you never knew about Laser. One, Laser has a new update. Two, I talked about the update with Peppy, the lead developer of OS. Yeah, happy 15th. Three, Laser has a new default skin called Argon. Look at it. It's fancy, it's slick, but is it readable? That's always been the main concern for official skins, and while Argon isn't exactly monochrome ping pong balls, there is a hope for improving readability. The important thing for me with a skin is when you click objects, they feel very satisfying. And I know a lot of the pro skins these days like completely skip out on that factor. But yeah, at the same time, uh, this skin is leaning. It's, it's leaning on a lot of the concepts from the pro skins, and we're planning to add more customization where you can scale back the lighting or scale back the borders to the point where I think it can be used even for people that prefer to have a lot less going on animation wise. It should go without saying that the skin isn't finalized yet. Peppy already has a huge list of things he wants to change and after this public release he expects more than enough community feedback. And yes, developers actually listen to community feedback, as seen by the random mod and its new angle sharpness slider because so many people complained about sharp angles in the last update. So this is just an initial pass. Um, there hasn't been a lot of optimization applied. So if you use this skin and notice your game running worse, that's definitely something we'll fix within a release or two. Uh, the other thing is like, it's still a work in progress. There's elements which are missing. There's elements which I made up, like the follow points. It's all very much an initial push just to get a feel for how people like the skin and overall which areas we need to improve most. Oh yeah, one more thing about the skin. Uh, the other rule sets are coming next. It's worth noting that this change is more than just a skin. It set the groundwork for more opportunities in custom skinning and more official skins, which we'll talk about that stuff in another update. One final note about the skin before continuing. Why is Argon called Argon? <laughs> someone someone in my, my Twitch chat came up with the best theory yet, which is that Argon is used in laser eye treatments. So Flight chose the Argon name because it fixes the eye damage people got from the previous skin, from the triangle skin. That is a good explanation, Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's enough about the new skin for now. I'm gonna list off a bunch of smaller changes this time around, starting with some bugs you might have seen in gameplay. The rotated progress bar had this ugly overlap, follow point animations in legacy skins were running too early sometimes, accuracy judgment animations didn't work as intended on some skins, and the flashlight mod would shrink one combo too late. All of these bugs are fixed now, so that's good. There were two new additions to gameplay this time, first being some settings for this accuracy display, which can look as insane as this if you'd like, and second being this new in-game leaderboard. This works just like in the stable build. You select a feed of scores on song select, and then it'll show your relative ranking while playing. Why is it not customizable yet? Kind of because we're using the same leaderboard in multiplayer and solo play, and just to get it working really well, it needs to display in the same place for both of those for now. Like, eventually we want to allow users to probably move it around the screen to wherever they want, but that takes a bit more work, a bit more abstraction to make it feasible to do that. Meanwhile in the editor... <laughs> Yo, Tats, what's up, dude? Oh my god, it just crashed! No way, it just crashed! <laughs> that was fixed, along with the game freezing when trying to rotate sliders, and everything exploding when the timeline was zoomed out too far. Zooming just at all in the timeline performs 50% better now too, which wasn't really planned. Performance things, I think it was because I was work working on storyboards, that's right. I was working with storyboards to fix um, the execute me animation. And in the process, I was like, this is running slow. And as always, when that happens, I spend like 12 hours and optimize until the sun comes up the next day because optimization is addictive. We also now have this. Amazing. You just do a little flick to the left to dismiss a notification for good, and a flick to the right will store it to the tray. And you can also right click on notifications now to dismiss them, but you want to flick them because flicking is a lot more satisfaction. Speaking of notifications, this is a new one right here. It tells you whenever a service will go down using fancy clock technology that we talked about a few updates ago. Also, it's now possible to snap slider anchors to the grid. This is completely unrelated, but it was a last minute addition that I can't really leave out, so you're welcome. On to the final change. If you navigate to your laser directory, you'll now find important read me, but 
text. We had someone report that they deleted all their bitmaps without realizing, thinking that the folder was just a cache. So now there's a text file which lets you know that you shouldn't delete these files. So yeah, Peppy's second priority is keeping your files safe. His first priority is including so much stuff in each laser release that I can't possibly talk about all of it. So read the full change log for literally every change, and we'll see you in a week or so for the next update.